Hey, would you look at that? It's after 7 o'clock already. Did you know it was after 7 o'clock? Now it's after 7 o'clock. That means it's time for 7 minutes in the morning. Today we're going to talk about making a difference or making a buck. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Nurse, I don't, uh, that I don't understand. Hey, uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what time and where you are watching this. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning Show, where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership and entrepreneurship. I got all that out and didn't even stumble. I'm going to reward myself with some coffee. So how's everybody doing today? Hope you are doing well. When you get here, leave a comment. Let me know how the day is going for you so far. Uh, and it doesn't matter whether you're watching live or on the replay. The comments still work, and I still read them. And speaking of comments, I've got one I'm going to paste in here. I'll go ahead and, and do this now so I don't forget it. Uh, there we go. And hopefully, I'll remember to mention this at the end as well. Uh, my beautiful bride, Vicki, is starting a group. Uh, let's see, starting a group. She already has a page called Not Another Fad Diet and uh, is starting a group to help you kind of. It's an eight week, I don't want to pitch it wrong, but it's summer trim eight week summer trim lessons. So there's the link. Go check that out. Somebody help me remember to mention that again before we go. Um, and just as an interesting aside, you, know, you I'm sure I've mentioned before, I use this piece of software to, to help me do these. They have a new feature. So if you make the comment window bigger, the letters get bigger. It's awesome. <laughs> I don't have to wear my glasses to read the comments anymore. All right. So here we go. Let's get into it. Making a difference or making a buck. <clears throat> and it, this kind of stems from this comment by Tom Brokaw that says it's easy to make a buck, it's much more difficult to make a difference. I've got a bunch of this, a uh, bunch of thoughts written out on this over on my Instagram. You can follow that. Oop, wrong side, right there. Tom, Tom Rigsby on Instagram. Here's the idea, right? The, it, it's easy to make a buck if you look at the customer relationship transactionally right which is what we tend to do it's like here's what i have to offer do you want to give me money for that here we go we swap all right there's the transaction easy peasy next in line i'll help you out but to make a difference in order to make a difference for our customers we have to to develop a relationship with them doesn't have to be, you know, deep, meaningful, long walks on the beach kind of relationship, but we at least have to have a conversation with them. I mean, it, it's kind of the old, uh, it's not even old, it, it's kind of the, the assumption you go to the fast food place, you're not entering into a conversation with the person taking your order, right? But that sometimes that's all it takes. I always try to do that. I'll try to get them to talk. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. If I had to work there, I probably wouldn't want to talk either. But it's more difficult, it's more difficult to make a difference because we have to engage in this relationship. The, the example that I um, used over on Instagram was Publix, right? And I'm going to use a different example, but same company here. Publix, the grocery store chain, is interested in making a difference. And at least in two places that I can think of here in town, Publix is across the street from a Walmart, and yet they're still packed. They're not packed. They're, they're still busy every time you go in there. So one of the ways that they do this, simple little way to do it, but if while you're checking out, they'll ask you, did you find everything you were looking for today? simple, innocuous question, but if you say no, 
What happens if you say no? That's right. They go to work trying to get it for you. And they'll special order it for you and put it on the shelf in the back just for you. I mean, simple. Uh, how many How many other places will say, oh, did you find everything you were looking for? They really don't care whether you found it or not. Right? This place is actually listening. Publix pays attention to what you say. Right? Simple little things. The example on Instagram is walking the groceries out to the car. So, here's a question for you. Two questions for you today. Um, one is, well, this is more of the homework. I want you to, um, I want you to think through your business. Is your business transactional or relational? And how can you make more of a difference in your customer's day. You don't have to make a difference in their life. Just how do you make a difference in their day? Might be as simple as, did you find everything you were looking for? Might not have to be any more complicated than that. Your other question, this is what I'd like for you to comment on. What other examples do you have of companies that are doing it right? right? They go beyond the transactional and they are it, it, at least interested in making a difference in how I perceive this engagement with them, but they're really interested in, in developing a relationship. Tell me some stories about companies that are doing it right down in the comments. Love to read those. If we get some good ones, we might even share a couple of them on Free Coaching Friday. That's coming up the day after tomorrow. So be sure and uh, be working on your question, your your comment, or your topic that you'd like for me to address. Try to stump the coach on Friday. That's always fun. Good morning, Gail and uh, Catherine and everyone else who's joined. I appreciate you being here. That's it for today. Uh, let's see, Wednesday. Anything special on Wednesday? I don't think there's anything special on Wednesday. So, that means uh, tomorrow morning will be our next time together. Be sure to be here 7 a.m. Central Time. And you can always catch the replay on 7minutesinthemorning.com and on Facebook and YouTube and everywhere your podcast, your favorite podcast are found. By the way, that reminds me, if you got any value at all from our conversation today, please leave a thumbs up, a heart, a like, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you're watching and share this video with your network. They will appreciate you for it, and I will too. All right, that's it for today. You guys have a great Wednesday, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Oh, that's right. I forgot to mention. See? It's great when you just hit the button and the camera comes back on. Um, not another fad diet. Right, the link is in the comments. Uh, check out the summer trim sessions. Did I get that right? Summer trim lessons. Summer trim lessons. That was close. Uh, be sure to check that out. That's going to be open until next uh, Monday or Tuesday. I think you can get in on that action. And as Catherine mentioned, co-working night tonight in Huntsville. Six o'clock, Huntsville West. Check it out. CWN Flyer. CWN like co working night. CWNflyer.com. All right, that's really it now. Now I'm really going to go. You guys really have a great Wednesday, and I'll really talk to you tomorrow.